And in other news, local council members, they weigh in on Mayor Lenny Curry's Fox News interview. Curry appeared on One Nation with Brian Kilmeade last night, days after the host went off about Jacksonville on national TV. Kilmeade owns a house in Ponte Vedra Beach and has stated Jacksonville is a mess and needs to be revitalized. News for Jacks reporter Coralie Peel has the reaction. In the interview, Mayor Lenny Curry says there is a lot of unfulfilled potential downtown. And he referenced the billion dollar lot J project that was turned down by city council members last year. And I spoke with council members who were both for and against that project about their take on Curry's interview. Days after slamming downtown Jacksonville on national news, Fox News One Nation host Brian Kilmeade interviewed Mayor Lenny Curry Saturday night. Mr. Mayor, why was everyone so angry I said that? Well, thanks, Brian. Well, I think it's just city pride. First of all, I wasn't angry. Um, I just wanted to give some context. Um, a lot of people did get upset. Very proud. The people of our city are, are proud of what we have. Uh, you were spot on. There's a lot of unfulfilled potential, p potential downtown. I spoke with Councilman Reggie Gaffney about his thoughts on Curry's interview. He was right on with some of his conversations, I think. Councilman Matt Carlucci wrote Kilmeade a letter last week showing his despair for his comments about the city. He sent me a statement about Curry's interview saying, I credit the mayor for taking on the interview and think he did a very good job. He very well explained the pride we all take in the great city of Jacksonville. We all know our untapped potential. Much of that potential is being done and will begin to unfold soon. Every city that cares about their people has untapped potential as well. All said, I consider his interview a win for Jacksonville. The mayor says one missed opportunity for downtown was the Lot J project that the city council voted down last year. My administration, we spent well over a year negotiating a billion dollar project, public-private partnership that would have been retail, residential, uh, with him. Uh, took it to city council, uh, 19 members of city council, it needed 13 votes, it got 12, city council voted it down. Very disappointing, missed potential. Gaffney says he was for the project. I believe in that project. I believe if somehow that would have passed, that would have jumped uh, downtown. Uh, and we'll probably be two, three years further to date. But because of that one opportunity that we failed to get one more vote, Councilman Carlucci voted against the Lot J project, saying it wasn't well done and was a learning lesson. Both Carlucci and Gaffney are confident other projects will pass to revitalize downtown. What do you think needs to be done to get the ball rolling to make sure that people do see progress downtown? Uh, I think we need to come together and we need to take leadership uh, how we want to grow, uh, how fast we want to go downtown. And these discussions don't happen that much. Curry mentioned plans that are in the works for downtown, like a sports performance complex that's in partnership with the Jags and owner Sean Khan. He also talked about the Four Seasons Hotel and riverfront development across from the stadium. Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.